Beginning the test in a dark room, we've just the monitor switched on. And whilst we can be seen, the quality is pretty poor and the autofocus kicks in quite regularly. And even doing that, it doesn't actually help with the overall image. I wouldn't recommend using it with no light. With natural light coming in through the window and I'm overexposed, especially down the one side of my face where the light is coming in, the actual image quality is much better compared to a dark room, which is to be expected really, and the frame rate looks better now. The one issue I'm having is the autofocus. It just randomly kicks in for no reason at all. I could be sitting there and it will just recalibrate itself, but on the plus side, you can disable the autofocus in OBS or the Razer Synapse software, which I would highly recommend doing for this webcam. You can manually configure the exposure in OBS, which will help remove some of that bright glow from your face, but you do need to play around with the slider in here as it does play a role in the frame rate. In the Razer Synapse software, you can manually configure it too, and you do have a metering option with the options of average, center, and face. I'll show you these shortly. When I use my usual room light, which is above me, then this brings quite a poor overall image. It just looks really blurry, and that includes the background too. It's almost like the autofocus hasn't tried focusing and it's got stuck, so I brought myself closer to the lens to see if that would help, but it didn't seem to. So I moved back to my original position and it just doesn't look good at all, which is quite confusing. I then turned on a couple of ring lights in front of me and now the focus looks fine again. There is a lot of glow on my face from the ring lights and the auto focus still randomly kicks in when I'm not moving around. So again, I would highly recommend disabling that. Now when I manually configure the exposure in LBS and this is more likely, that is miles better and it removes the glow from my face and you can see better when I put them side by side. You are definitely going to want to manually configure those exposure settings on this. Now I tried switching on some backlights and again there is some glow on my face from the ring lights but those backlights do seem to help out a little bit with the automatic out of the box settings. I manually configured the exposure again and this produces a much better result and the frame rate is still looking really good too. So again make sure you use manual settings. The field of view on this out of the box is 80.9 degrees. That means a good amount of your background is going to be displayed especially if you are further away from the lens as I am here pretending to know how to dance and I made the rookie mistake of filming this in 30 frames per second. In the sign up software you can zoom in and close this up to 62.9 degrees but there will be a loss in image quality the more you are zoomed in. You can also set five presets in here too so you can quickly toggle from the widest field of view to one of the more narrow ones that you've set around your room. Putting that auto focus to the test with a small lego character and it does work but it does take a second or so for it to reconfigure itself so it's not the fastest auto focus that I've seen but it does eventually get there and you can bring the object right up to the lens too. Now doing the same test with an ID card and it performs exactly the same with it taking a second or so for it to calibrate itself but the image quality is nice and crisp here so if you need to show some details to someone on the other end this will be fine. I then went into LBS to remove the green screen and to be fair it did do a good job doing this. Little bit of pixelation in the bottom corner, that's more my lighting setup. If you've got decent lighting this should work fine. Comparing it next to my inbuilt webcam on my laptop and it looks better as you would expect with more noise being on the inbuilt one but that auto focus is a bit of a nightmare and to be honest I was expecting it to look so much better compared to the inbuilt one but it's not a massive improvement. This is a microphone test of the Razer Keo V2X webcam. We we are using manual exposure settings as well for this test. This is the audio you can expect from the inbuilt mics. If you're more comfortable configuring options in the Razer Synapse software rather than something like OBS, then you can disable the autofocus in here as well as manually configuring the exposure. You can play around with a slider to fine tune things, but you do have the option of average, center, and face. And when I use the face option, this was the best for me, but you will need to test these for your own environment. There's also the option for 2D and 3D noise reduction, and these are automatically enabled straight out of the box, which is probably for the best, as when they are disabled it generates quite a lot of noise which can be seen on my carpet but you do have the option to disable these if you want to. The usual image settings are in here too for you to fine tune things like brightness and contrast so your basic options are here and that's about as much as you can do in the software really. Turning the lens will close the inbuilt privacy shutter which I do actually really like. The mount has rubber on the inside so it won't cause scratches to your monitor and it also comes with a quarter inch thread which means that you can mount it onto a tripod if you prefer. Microphones are located on the front and the USB cable is inbuilt so you can't remove it and it connects to your computer by USB-A. 